happy Monday. It is Monday, 8 a.m., 8.05, and I'm heading to work, and you're probably wondering what, what am I doing vlogging here, and I've decided, so every time I ask, I know the light is like really bad, every time I ask what types of videos you wanna see, you tell me vlogs. So even though my life is not super interesting, and I work nine to five, so I always thought, what am I gonna vlog? Driving to work, you know? But I, um, I've decided to make an effort to at least have like a few clips here and there and maybe do like weekly or bi-weekly vlogs in case you know you want to get to know me a little bit better get to know my everyday life a little bit better or you're new and you just don't know me at all <laughs> so um that's what I've decided to do it is Monday oh my god it's so bright it's gonna be 70 degrees today so I'm just wearing a dress and no coat and no stockings oh my god I hate wearing stockings I feel like my legs are in prison like wearing a bra is bad enough i don't need stockings so i'm really excited for the weekend for the weekend what, the, what? i'm really excited for the spring is what i meant it's supposed to be 70 degrees later so it's only 40 now so i kind of look I'm, I'm a little cold but um it'll get a lot warmer i had such sunday blues last week was the worst it literally was so bad last week i was so sick after jamaica that whole week just felt like I don't know like I'm physically here but I wasn't really here like I felt very foggy my brain was foggy I was out of it I'm still sick once I start coughing I'm coughing for like two hours straight it's just last week I just wish I could just like erase from my memory it was so bad and Peter's too it was such a weird week I don't know if it's because we came back from vacation or what it was every day felt like a thousand years it just ugh. So hopefully this week will be better. I'm starting off my morning and my drive to work with a podcast. I always love Ed Millett and uh, Mallory Irvin uploads on Mondays as well. So I like to listen to those driving to work. And yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm about to turn on the podcast and start driving. So see ya. The Bachelor is about to start. Oh my gosh. I follow Reality Steve. If you don't know who that is, it's a like an Instagrammer who follows reality shows, specifically The Bachelor, I think. I just discovered him. And he said that uh, Peter is gonna get engaged to Hannah Ann and then break up with her and then go for Madison. And now he's dating Madison, but they're not engaged. So we'll see. I'm actually curious. I haven't watched a full season of The Bachelor since Sean Lowe with Catherine. So this is like the first season that I've watched in years and it's starting so by the time you see this vlog it'll all be revealed so you'll see today is the 9th march 9th um so tell me what you thought about it i'm curious i think steve is probably right he usually doesn't post anything unless he's sure i don't know like what i think i think madison i respect that she stuck to her guts i also wouldn't be able to say yes to a proposal if the guy just slept with someone but at the same time, she knew what the show was about. Like, she signed up for it. I don't know if she knew it's gonna be Pete or Peter, but like, if she's so religious that she can't accept it, why would you go on a show like that? If you know that's what usually happens on this show, you know? So, I don't know, I don't know. I think I'm leaning more towards Hannah Ann, but we'll see what happens. And his mom, in that scene that we're all wondering about where she's like, bring her home. She's talking about Hannah Ann, apparently. Everyone thought um, that she's talking about Madison. Oh my gosh, it's starting, waiting for Peter to get home. Then we're gonna eat dinner, watch this, and then again tomorrow. So I'll see you probably tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm at work now. I just stepped out for lunch, but I wanted to talk about the Bachelor finale, which was last night, today's Wednesday. What do you think? What did you think of it? I thought it was so crazy. I mean, Peter just acted, I'm like looking if anyone's coming. Peter acted like a total fool. I don't know why he proposed to Hannah Ann where he clearly had issues getting over Madison. I mean, like I kind of understand the concept that he didn't want Hannah to slip away if he was only gonna be, you know, hurting for a little bit and then he would have lost out on you know on hannah i kind of get that but then like he should have told her he should have went to her the night before 
told her everything so she knows what she's saying yes to. I mean, I agree with what she said. I thought it was just like, he just did not do it right. And to take away her first engagement, her first engagement ring, her first, she probably looked at dresses. She probably started looking at venues. I just, it's just like, I'm a sentimental person, so I get it. It sucks. And regarding his mom, she crazy. She's like a little too involved. I think she was so mean. She was like rolling her eyes at Madison the whole time. And I'm not like the biggest fan of Madison. She seems like she might have a mean bone just because when Peter's mom was talking about how she made them wait for three hours, which by the way, I kind of want to know what that was about. Why would you make someone wait three hours? Like that was mean that I would be pissed too. But when she was talking about it, Madison just kept smirking. And I just, I don't know, like I kind of got a vibe from her that she could be mean. You know, I could be wrong, but that's just kind of how it looked when she just was smirking the whole time. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, do you agree with what he did? Do you think that they'll, they're gonna end up together? I feel like the mom just kind of ruined it and there's just no way. I mean, imagine family gatherings with her, his mom and it just would be so weird. I, I don't think they're gonna work out just because she basically just like ruined it for them. We are on a family walk. What did you think about The Bachelor last night? What, what is that? I thought we were gonna talk about the walk. <laughs> It was crazy. This dude just doesn't know what the hell he wants. But his mom took over the show towards the end. Everyone hates Barbara. I heard that now people who used to say like, you know, that annoying person is called Karen. You know how like they say, oh, Karen. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like if someone wants to speak to a manager or something, they say like, oh, Karen. Uh -huh. Now they say it's Barbara because of Barbara. Barb. Peter actually was instructed I know it's loud because there's cars. Oh my god. This is not my prime angle here. Georgie! Georgie's wearing one shoe because... Because he has a yeast infection on one of his feet and he has to wear a shoe now. But, so Peter was instructed to work from home until further notice. Yep. So he gets to stay home. I don't yet, at least, but there's like way less people on the streets now, I feel like. And he went to the grocery store today to get toilet paper. And there was toilet paper, but not one Lysol. Yeah, toilet paper wasn't a problem. It was a big selection, but Lysol was wiped out. And I tried to order it on Amazon and there's not even like one seller that sells it anymore, so. People are going crazy. They are. Fear. I know. And we're going to Florida soon and I'm hoping it'll be okay for us to go. We wanna look at houses and pick one. So we'll see. Okay, I'm starting to get ready for my friend's baby shower. Uh, we have to leave in less than an hour and I thought I would kind of talk about random stuff and of course someone is vacuuming now <laughs> Hopefully you can't hear it. I know the light is bad. I don't know where my portable Oh, where my portable um, ring light is Let me maybe try to find it and then come back so that you can actually see me better. I'll be right back. Okay, I got it Let's see if it works Hold on. Uh, Oh, that's re really doesn't make any difference does it? I don't think it does. Nope, it doesn't make a difference. Okay, I don't know where to put you. Maybe I'll put you like right here. This is a great angle for my chins. <laughs> Hold on. Um, is that better? I don't know. Uh, maybe it's better. I don't know. I am wearing a bra. I'm not naked. Um, so I, oh God, this is like, this robe I got probably 10 years ago at Target. It was on clearance for like $9 and it's extra, extra, extra large. It's like way wrong size, but I like it because it's long and thin. So I know you've seen it in my videos for years now. Um, so I'm going to my friend's baby shower. 
I'm just gonna apply makeup as I talk. Wait, should I maybe put you higher? Darn it, I don't know what to do. Is this better? I think it's better. Um, I know I keep looking at like the actual video instead of at you, sorry about that. Sometimes I forget. Um, so I'm going to her baby shower and she's having a baby boy. And I am, so I actually have to leave in like less than an hour. So I have to kind of hurry up, but they had a venue booked for a long time and the venue canceled so today is saturday the 14th you might actually see, the, see this video today because i i had an empties haul uh ready to go today but i feel like in light of everything happening with the virus and everything it's just better to upload something like like i, I talk about it in this video and i will talk about it a little bit more and i feel like i should upload it first just because things are changing literally by the hour so if i wait another week to upload this vlog all the things i'm saying might not even be valid anymore or like things might have might change a lot so i feel like this vlog should just go up first yesterday was friday the 13th peter's car that's like he bought it brand new three years ago um like literally brand new it was like he bought it in i think 2017 and it was the 2018 version, I don't know. He went, he wanted to go to the store yesterday because my mom could not find toilet paper anywhere. So I told her, last time we were at a store near us at a shop ride, they still had it. And I was like, Peter can go and pick it up for you. So he went in his car, he, he asked our neighbor if she needs anything, she's like older. And he went to, into his car to go to the store and his battery died in the car. Or I don't know, he couldn't turn it on. So he thinks it's battery. Oh, I took way too much foundation. So he right now is at the dealership trying to fix it and get a new battery. And then we have to go to the shower. So that was one thing. Then, since he couldn't go, I went on my lunch break to a grocery store near kind of near where I work. They did not have one paper product, except for notebooks. Like, no napkins, no tissues, no paper towel, no toilet paper, no butt wipes, like literally nothing. It just was like such a, and then I ordered shoes from the Gal Meets Glam collection, and I was so excited because the baby shower is for a baby boy and one of the pairs I ordered were the blue, navy blue uh, loafers that are just like really pretty. They're blue, they have a bow on it and I really wanted to wear it to the baby shower today. So they came in yesterday and they were way too small, like a whole size too small, even though I ordered up. I ordered up half, half a size and they were still too small. So I can't wear them. Then I was waiting for another pair of shoes in the mail that said it's all out for delivery and it just said it's out for delivery since four in the morning until midnight and it never came i know that these are not a big deal type of thing so there's way worse things happening but like i just feel like every little thing went wrong yesterday and so my friend's baby shower she had this location booked for months now and on thursday two days before they told her that she can't have it there anymore so last minute they had to find a restaurant that would be willing to host it and I can't I feel so bad for all the brides so bad I mean I know there's people dying and that's more important than you know canceled events but I was planning my wedding for so long and I was so excited and leading up to it I had literally nightmares that something would go wrong and i was so afraid some like people will forget about the date or something will like the power will go off at the um at the venue or something like i was so paranoid and thankfully nothing went wrong but i can't imagine all these brides getting married now where they have to cancel after planning after getting their dress and my makeup artist from my wedding um she said that she literally had like 10 cancellations already up until August. So it's just like, it must be so stressful. I can't even imagine having a huge event in your life around this time. And then everything goes to shits, you know? I feel like from last weekend to this weekend, it just got so much worse. 
so much worse. Last weekend, we were still at Trader Joe's and everything was fine and nothing, nothing was sold out. Nothing like was wrong. This week, my friend went to the same Trader Joe's and she said there's not even like frozen food in there anymore. Like literally shelves are almost completely empty. And it's it's been like five days since we went and it's already this crazy. Peter went to ShopRite on Wednesday, I think, Wednesday or Tuesday, and he got toilet paper and paper towel. Um, and he said, like, there was not one disinfecting wipe, not one Lysol, nothing like that. And already, I think by Friday, so like two days later, that whole store was out of paper. <laughs> I don't know, it's just so crazy how rapidly it's spreading. Um, I don't think they had even one case in New Jersey last Thursday. And today I woke up, I looked on NewJersey.com and they had 50. So it's really spreading. It's just going so fast. And I, at first I thought like, okay, people are just like freaking out. It's probably, for most people, it feels like a cold. It's not, you know, it's not like that serious for most people. But then I saw this video on Instagram about um, how it is in Italy. And I literally came home and cried for like an hour. I watched it in my car when I pulled up in the, into the parking spot by my house and I finished watching it and then I went inside my house. I saw Peter and I just like, I was telling him about it and I started crying and I cried for like an hour. I couldn't stop because they were talking about how in Italy, if someone is ill, they don't have enough ventilators. And if there's like a 60 year old and a 30 year old that come in that need help breathing because they're ill, they're gonna give it to the 30 year old because they have a higher chance of surviving. And then they basically just make the 60 year old comfortable as they die. And when I heard that, I was like devastated, devastated. Like it's just so crazy how terrible it is. And I don't know if this is true, but Peter, so Peter's company, they have offices all over the world. And he has, um, I don't know if the coworker was like in China or if she was in Italy, I'm not sure. But it was a coworker he spoke with who told him that basically the reason it got so bad in Italy was because, I had to close my balcony, it was getting too loud. So she said the reason I got so bad in Italy was because there's this um, town where it got really bad, Lombardo maybe? Um, or maybe it was a different town, but one of the towns that got hit really bad. Um, basically she said, I know this is like annoying to have this. Basically she said that um, there were a lot of, there's a lot of Chinese people that live there and they went back to China for New Year's, for like the Chinese New Year's. And then they came back and a lot of the women worked um, taking care of older people. And they didn't know they're sick. And they went to work when they came back and they gave it to all the older people. And then the older people had family visiting them. And then the family got it. And that's how it spread so rapidly and so crazy. And that's why Italy got like so hit with that. I don't know, you know, if this is 100% true, um, because I was wondering like why Italy out of all the countries, you know, like why did they get hit so, so hard? And that's what she said. So it just is just that I don't, it's so sad. And I was thinking about how so many illnesses, so many like crazy things throughout history started by like the patient zero it was because they ate an animal and for this i forget the name of the animal something with a p but it was like it's like the most um trafficked animal in the world because some countries believe that its scales are um heal illnesses which is obviously not true but they just think that and they traffic these poor animals and i heard that's where it all came from from this animal yeah it's just sad it's so sad i'm hoping everything will be okay i mean peter's job there's already a person that has it not in the u.s but in um some european office my job has someone already 
in the US, it's just spreading so rapidly. And my town, oh, where I used to live, like where my mom lives, they have a bunch of cases too. I don't know why people are buying 75 toilet paper rolls. I don't know how that helps. I mean, I get it, get like a little bit extra, but there's so many people that like just buy everything and then there's nothing left over for older people and I feel so bad and if you have an older person in your neighborhood like we have or you know someone's grandma that doesn't have someone that can go and help them help them offer them help but yeah so I have to finish getting ready finish wrapping the gift which is a pain in the butt I got the um what is it called like the rock and play pack and play rock and play pack and play like that bed the portable bed and oh my gosh we have to leave in 20 minutes um and i did it and then i bought this big bag to wrap it and it just looks so weird i didn't realize that it's just gonna look so weird so i don't know i have to figure out how to pack it and then peter has to peter is driving me there it's in hoboken and then all the guys are going to some kind of like a beer garden which i'm so paranoid about now because it's like i don't want peter to even leave the house um and he's gonna have to walk in with me and help me carry that in because it's so heavy so i'll show you what the gift looks like i'll show you what i look like when i'm ready um i'm gonna wear all blue because it's a baby boy and yeah so i'll see you in a little bit okay i have my makeup done i might or might not put on lashes because i am running really last minute um but i just wanted to show you a few things so i got this juliet has a gun discovery kit which is awesome you get 12 perfume samples and you get a 25 dollar certificate which is how much the kit cost towards a full-size perfume so i was like <laughs> I was sampling all of them. It comes with like the little um, paper things. Let me know if you want a review on all of the perfumes. If you like perfume and you want to see um, and you you want to like hear what I have to say, what I think about each scent. Literally, it has all the scents from their line. Let me know and I'll review it. Secondly, I finally got the replacement of the Sarah Flint shoes that I ordered. Whoa, bad angle. So I wanted to show you. And my Galmates Glam shoes came in too. I know I'll have to um, exchange the loafers, but I also got the espadrilles. So I'll show you what they look like too. So I'll show you the Sarah Flint. Let me flip you. So this is what they look like. I had to exchange them for 40 point, 40 and a half. I'm normally a 40, which is a nine. They're so pretty. This is what this looks like. I know it's so messy, but, um, and then I have to, <laughs> attach this somehow um and then i'll show you the gal meets glam which always comes packaged so nicely so this is what the um espadrille looks like i got a i think i got a 39 and a half so i'll try them on and then i'll show you the other one say hi mr george georgie okay he's not having it but i'll show you what the loafers look like they're so pretty, but they're just running small. So I got my normal 40, and they're way, way, way too small. So I have to exchange them, but they're really pretty. And I got them in blue too, but I already packed them up to exchange. Um, but yeah, so that's what they look like, if you were curious. We are on the way back from the baby shower. It was really fun. Um, I didn't have time to put lashes on, my lipstick came off, I forgot to grab it with me. Um, but it was really fun and I can't wait to meet the little baby. He's gonna be born at the end of April. But anyway, I wanted to say thank you for watching. This is where I will end my vlog. I'll probably vlog next week too, but um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know how you're doing wherever you are. Is everyone okay? Are you able to get supplies at the stores? I'll leave any video requests you want to see in the next couple of weeks and I will see you soon. Bye!